it's Catherine, and I wanted to tell you that I believe in this world everyone has a different story, a different hardship, different adventures, and different dilemmas that they have to deal with on their own. However, not every story can end terribly. There are challenges that can make you stronger and better as a person. When you go through a tough event, you can learn from it or learn to cope with other scenarios that may cross your path in life. When I was a little girl, I would watch TV shows and movies that would show me or that I thought had perfect families in. They would have a mom, a dad, traditions, vacations that they would go on, and an abundance of smiles. As I grew up, I thought that I had a pretty good family. I had a stepdad, a mom, some traditions, some vacations, and a sufficient amount of smiles. But little did I know that something that was happening to me was wrong in every way. At about age 9 to 11, I was being sexually abused by my stepfather. I knew that it didn't feel right, but I was too scared to speak up. He wasn't aware that I knew because he would do this while my family wasn't there and while I was taking a nap. So I would pretend that I was asleep because I didn't know what would happen if I spoke up. And one day, I finally had the courage to speak up and I told my mom and my life changed. I was removed from my home with my little brother and we were placed in multiple foster homes. But I can't begin to explain how lucky I feel to have been placed in a foster home that knew me and that loved me thoroughly and like they really really loved me and I don't know what I would have done without them or where I would be without without them <laughs> or other people in my life I try I'm not trying to turn this into a pity story or a sad story and I'm not gonna go through the entire story little by little but I want to tell you what I got out of it. I know it may seem like there is nothing good that comes out of a bad situation, but I can tell you from experience that there is. At every dark tunnel, in every dark tunnel that you go through, there is always a light to look forward to at the end. And last year, I testified in court, and I got justice for what happened to me. And while I was in court, a young girl that I didn't know came up to me and she told me that I was brave because there were so many boys and girls that that also happened to, but couldn't speak up. And from then on, I always thought, what would have happened to me if I didn't speak up? So this I believe, that from a hardship, good can come out of it. Because now I'm stronger and... <laughs> in this situation gave me the courage that I needed to become a better person and to be who I am today. And it gave me compassion and sympathy for others. Today, now, at, during this time, yeah, <laughs> I have my bestest friends next to me, with me, and there for me. I have my family, my teachers, and so many that I know I can trust. And I want to tell you to turn anything that is upsetting that has happened to you into something good. Because I can testify that life does move on and you only have one life to live. I know this may be cliche and everyone says this, but it's true. I mean, look at where we are now. <laughs> we're about to graduate high school and we're living our lives, about to go our separate ways. And I want to end my speech by telling you that it does get better. And you have to realize that what you're going through is only a small part of the rest of your life. And I believe you're going to have good times and bad times. I believe that you should make every bad situation end with a good one. I believe that whatever you are going through can build you up as a person. Thank you for listening. So... I just wanted to say my, this is, this, I, oh, <laughs> you're making me so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what?